Yatos. Oh, there we go. So, I'm going to Chagao, and these people have just told me that it's going to be five to six hours. Over here, the mountains, the bananas, the fruits, the cocoa, the rice plantations, uh, the river goes and meanders inland, but they're not chopping down all the forest. So I don't know whether that's because they've got no forest to chop down. But this side is Luminaire 1 and Luminaire 2, the two hills, and the ocean flows around here. And this is a protective bay. And I stayed over here over in the distance where that tall building is. This is a really, really nice city. It is very, very nice. It's got so much. You can, you can walk to the top of that mountain. I got halfway up and I packed up. My legs just could not make it. Uh, but there's a bay over here, I believe. But we're going this way. Shergal is six hours this way. But I'm going up the coast road. Never done this route before. Straight on is my destination. I'm not going to the airport. But when I get back to Davao, I will look to see if there are flights here. The ocean is over here. And the airport is down that road. Well, it looks like a road, but it is a runway. I don't think it does big, big aeroplanes. I think it does those little uh, tuk-tuks of the air. Tuk-tuks of the airway. Well, the scooter's a bit upset. The truck's reversing. Okay, let's go onwards. It's quarter to eleven. When you live here, you take it for granted at the beauty. But sometimes you just have to stop and take in this amazing country I'm just I'm just unbelievable I'm about half an hour outside to uh, yeah, conduct and uh, look how clear that water is how shallow there are people out there walking, just walking, looking for food and shrimps and crabs and fishing. And look at that beach. It's a lovely beach. It runs around the bay, but it's a shallow, shallow water area. It's got like a channel in here with the, with the breakers out there. So you can actually see where the deep water is and where the shallow water is. So we're going to go this way. Sexy scooter. Mountains on the way to Chagall. All been scarred. They're mining or they're taking away the forests or they're doing something. I don't know what they're doing. But I was over here. Look at that view out there. Sorry about the wind, guys. Um, a few hundred feet above sea level, as you can see. So there's some small islands. Well, that island in the middle, but the one on the back is where I was this morning. So I've ridden all the way around here, all the way along here, all the way around here, all the way around here, and then back around here, and now I'm coming up this road. And they just seem to be cutting everything into the mountains. I don't know whether that's a road over there, but I'm going that way. There's this red dust everywhere here. Now, it's in my eyes, it's in my mouth, it's up my nose. Um, it's the soil, I think. Uh, I don't think it needs a really good uh, uh, rainstorm because they've already had that. Uh, but as I'm, wa I'm walking, and the ground feels soft. Yeah. Oh, my my next house there, five dollars. Yeah, great view. No water, no electricity. But look at that water there. It's red, it's red all the way down that mountain. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, let's go this way. 
I stopped for some petrol about 20 minutes ago and there was a guy in the 7-Eleven who I'd met on the cruise ships. I can't believe it. He turned and said, you're a chef, aren't you? I was like, what? Do you know what I mean? It's the last thing you want to find, isn't it? It's, or, it's one of those surprise factors that you're in a 7-Eleven in the middle of nowhere and somebody knows who you are. What a small world. And so I've beautiful islands over there. Beautiful ship in the bay. Sorry about the wind, but I'm a few hundred feet above sea level. I don't have a mic for this phone. But I'm just looking at all of this quarrying and taking of rock and whatever. That's that red stuff that was in my face. I've just come over the top of that mountain there, up to there, and then I'm coming down here. Now I'm heading down this way to follow the coast around. So this is one of the islands that make up uh, Chagall, the islands out in the bay. So there's this one, there's, there's another one out there called Tangata, and there's another one further out. But there we go. So from a height of uh, a thousand meters, it's uh, windy, windy. I've arrived. In uh, Chicago, is the port. Guys are loading up the barges and the bunkers to go out to the islands for the weekend, which is pretty good. I've just asked for the CTMO for a hotel. Uh, I can't find it, but the journey's been long. Let's put it that way. But uh, yeah, the barges, the bunkers, going to the islands this way. Loading with water, loading with fuel, loading with food. So, I, I made Chagall and I've just spent an hour looking for accommodation. Uh, the tavern is booked, the tavern annex is booked, uh, the gateway is booked, the Alma is booked, the Altera is booked. We've got one of those presidential busloads of uh, journeymen coming down called Roberto, the pink lady. So all the hotels are booked. But uh, yeah, so I made it. Let's just cross the road. I'm in, uh, I've got no idea where this, uh, where this place is. I was just trying to take a shortcut and I'm, where am I here? I, I'm on Mount Diaz Street and uh, R. Sering Street. I'm here, Shiragal Tourist Inn. Yeah, 500 peso a night, hot water, TV, no Wi-Fi, AC, clean linen, clean double bed, looks very nice, I'm on the third floor. For me, a winner. Yeah, I'll do a catch up with later. I'm gonna go and have something, something to eat now. So, uh, but we're in the salubrious district of Chagall. I really got no idea how I get myself into these messes. Yeah, they love scooters here, don't they? Oh my God. Uh, but I was down, I was in Chugal today. Uh, I don't know whether to, I don't know where to vlog it tomorrow. It's still a mess. It's still, they're still getting over that little bit of water and typhoon and data that turned up. Uh, so I think I'll respect them and leave them what they're doing. Whereabouts are we? Where is this barangay? Well, this, uh, yeah. Barangay San Juan. Barangay San Juan. Yes. Barangay oh. San Juan. Okay. Barangay San Juan. Yes. 